from a temple clinging to a steer cliff, defying gravity for over 1,500 years, to a convenience store perched 120 meters above the ground, accessible only by ropes, here are four of China's most dangerous and awe-inspiring architectural marvels. Hanging Temple, Shan Kong Temple Monastery. Perched high on the sheer cliffs of Hangshan Mountain in Shaanxi Province, the Hanging Temple stands as one of China's most bold engineering feats. Built over 1,500 years ago in 491 AD during the Northern Wei Dynasty, this structure appears to go against gravity, clinging to the vertical rock face as if it's suspended mid-air. At first glance, its delicate design might bring a sense of fragility, but beneath its seemingly precarious placement lies a structure of incredible strength and accuracy. The temple's location, nearly 70 meters above the ground, was chosen with planning and care. Being elevated, protected against floods that often plagued lower areas and minimized exposure to the wearing effects of rain and wind. Additionally, the natural overhang of the cliff acts as a protection, keeping the temple safe from harsh weather while hiding it from the view of potential threats during its early history. What keeps the hanging temple so secure? Well, it's not the visible wooden pillars, which were added later to calm the nerves of visitors, but a series of wooden beams driven deep into the cliff, known locally as Iron Sea Supports. These beams were coated with tongue oil to resist moisture and rot. Now, every beam was carefully positioned, each one playing a specific role, some bearing weight, others providing balance. The architectural design of the Hanging Temple is equally impressive. The layout includes two main towers connected by a 32-meter-long bridge with 40 separate rooms serving as halls, pavilions, and corridors. Now, these connected spaces allow visitors to travel through the temple while marveling at the breathtaking view of the valley below. The combination of natural protection and smart design has enabled the structure to endure centuries of earthquakes and other natural disasters. As you step onto the temple's narrow corridors and plank bridges, a mix of awe and unease washes over you. The creak of the wood beneath your feet feels amplified by the dizzying drop below, making every step an adventure. With the wind whispering through the heights and the vast expanse of the valley stretching out before you, it's impossible not to marvel at the delicate balance of this ancient structure clinging to the cliffs. So how did the builders of the Northern Way period, with limited Limited tools and resources manage such a wonder? Well, the accuracy required to embed each wooden beam into the cliff, calculating weight distribution and balance without modern technology, and it remains a testament to their skill. Times Magazine named the Hanging Temple one of the 10 most mysterious and scary structures in the world, and it's easy to see why. The Twin Temples of Funjing Zhan from Shanxi, we travel south to Guzhou Province, where another engineering wonder awaits. The twin temples of Funjing Shan are perched high above the clouds on a towering rock spire known as Red Clouds Golden Peak. These two small temples are separated by a deep gorge yet linked by a narrow arched stone bridge. But what are these temples known for? Well, it's not only their stunning location, it's the meaning they represent. The southern temple of the Buddha symbolizes the present, while the northern Maitreya temple embodies the future, creating a spiritual journey through time. Reaching these temples is not for the faint-hearted. As you begin your journey, you face the challenge of climbing over 8,800 steps carved into the mountainside. The steep paths twist through dense forests and rocky cliffs, each step feeling more exhausting than the last. As you climb higher, you notice ancient inscriptions on the rocks, dating back to the Ming and Qing dynasties, offering glimpses of the mountain's history. As the trees begin to thin, the breathtaking views unfold before you, making every step feel like it was worth it. Well, finally, you reach the top, where the view from the temple takes your breath away. The temples themselves are over 500 years old, built during the Ming Dynasty, and later strengthened with sturdier materials to withstand the harsh mountain environment. Despite centuries of exposure to strong winds, heavy rains, and constant erosion, the original architecture remains intact, a proof of the skill and determination of the builders. The arched build connecting the two temples is a design wonder in itself, hanging above a gorge so deep that 
looking down can make even the bravest traveler feel a twinge of dizziness. Surrounding the temples is the Fan Jingshan National Nature Reserve, a beautiful stretch of cliffs, valleys, and forests that have been shaped over 1.4 billion years. The region is home to thousands of plant species and rare wildlife, offering visitors a sense of connection to both nature and history. Kamlo Nam Pagoda Nestled into the side of the sheer cliff, the Kam Lo Nam Pagoda is a striking example of ancient craftsmanship and skill. Located in a rocky niche, this nearly 900-year-old temple is not only a proof of its builders' abilities, but also their resourcefulness. Unlike many other ancient structures, the Kam Lo Nam Pagoda was constructed entirely without the use of nails, screws, or metal fasteners. Instead, it relies on a complex system of wooden joints that fit together seamlessly, creating a structure so strong that it has withstood centuries of natural challenges. At the heart of this architectural marvel is a towering 30-meter-high fir wood pillar, which provides critical support to the temple's middle section. But the brilliance doesn't stop there. The structure blends so naturally into the surrounding rock that it feels like an extension of the cliff itself. Why did the builders choose this design? Practicality played a role. The overhanging rock above acts as a natural umbrella, protecting the temple from rain and debris, while its elevated position shields it from floods. The pagoda's construction method is no less fascinating. Known as the tenon and mortise technique, it involves carefully cutting and fitting wooden components to lock together with precision. This ancient method guarantees stability, ensuring the structure remains strong and enduring. Even the cliff's unique triangular shape contributes to the temple's strength. The overhang above provides long hours of sunlight, keeping the pagoda bright and dry throughout the year. Now, these natural advantages, combined with the clever design, have ensured that the temple has endured nearly nine centuries with minimal damage, all supported by a single towering pillar. As you stand before the Kam Lo Nam Pagoda, it's impossible not to wonder how did its creators achieve such precision crafting a structure that continues to defy gravity and logic. The answer lies in their remarkable understanding of materials, environment, and design, a legacy that modern architects can only admire. Hunan Convenience Store Imagine standing on the edge of a towering cliff in the Shinazuai scenic area of Hunan province looking up at a tiny wooden convenience store clinging to the rock face 120 meters above the ground. <laughs> How is that even possible? Welcome to what's known as the most inconvenient convenience store, where visitors can find a bizarre mix of isolation, adventure, and a hint of daring cleverness. This small two square meter store sitting precariously above the rugged landscape opened in 2018 after being built in 2017. It's not just any convenience store, it's a wonder of engineering. Built on steel bars deeply embedded into the cliffside, the store's lightweight design ensures it doesn't put too much strain on the natural rock. Beneath it, a small platform catches anything that might fall, preventing goods from landing on the heads of visitors below. From a distance, it looks almost unreal like a tiny wooden box floating midair suspended by sheer determination. But how do supplies even reach this remote store? Well, the answer isn't simple. Workers face the same steep paths that climbers use to navigate the region hauling everything from water to snacks. Once at the base of the cliff, the supplies are carefully lifted by ropes, a daily exhausting process. Only one staff member can work at the store at a time, spending their day hanging out refreshments to brave adventurers before they make the dangerous descent back to safety at the end of each day. Now, despite its remote and rather inconvenient location, the store has become a topic of conversation across the globe. It's a symbol of human cleverness and the incredible lengths people are willing to go to make even the most most impossible ideas a reality. Standing here, surrounded by stunning views of the cliffs and valleys, visitors are reminded that sometimes the most challenging ideas are the most rewarding ones. These temples, along with other incredible constructions and sites, continue to surprise modern engineers, proving that ancient ingenuity and determination can outlast time 
and challenge even today's technology. All right, in your own opinion, how were these ancient builders able to create such marvels and what tools might they have used? We'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Not only did the Chinese develop remarkable techniques to climb mountains, but the Russians also created some insane engineering methods to navigate their towering peaks. To see how, check out our video, The Insane Russian Engineering to Navigate Above the Mountains. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.